ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಬಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪಸ್ವರ್ಶ ಕಿಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ಭವಿಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘತಿ ಯತ್ಕಿಪಾತಮಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರನ್ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಜನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾಪ್ಯಹಂ ಪಣುತ ಬಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರುಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧುಸ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸ ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕಥಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಧಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತಮ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತ್ವಾಂ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ತ 
तस्मादम जगतासेशम असत्सूपम स्वनाभमस्तिशनम पुरदूक्षदुक्षम तय्यव निशोकबोधतना बनते मैया तो दत्पी यीवा भाति तस्माद जगद अशेषमशुत्सूपम स्वनाभमस्तिशनम पुरदूक्षदुक्षम तय्यव निशोकबोधतना बनते मैया तो दत्पी यदीवा सदीव भाति गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड वॉट एवर देर इज अट्रैक्शन एंड रिपल्शन इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एवरी अट्रैक्शन एंड रिपल्शन वी जस्ट नीड टू गेट आउट ऑफ दैट वी जस्ट नीड टू गेट रेड आउट ऑफ दैट वॉट एवर अट्रैक्शन एंड रिपल्शन इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दिस अट्रैक्शन एंड रिपल्शन वी जस्ट नीड टू गेट रेड ऑफ दैट अदरवाइज नथिंग विल हैपन गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु प्रभु जी टोल्ड जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट वॉट एवर अट्रैक्शन एंड रिपल्शन इज देयर इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड ऑल अट्रैक्शन एंड रिपल्शन वी जस्ट नीड टू गेट आउट ऑफ दैट दिस प्रभाव वी जस्ट नीड टू गेट आउट ऑफ दैट वाई बिकॉज इन दिस ओनली just getting in this current of attraction and repulsion it is not at all good and maya devi in this material world is giving different kind of uh, uh, nice nice things in front of us like so that we can just get attracted towards that particular thing and in order to get uh, that uh, get out of that attraction and repulsion that is called bhajan to get out of that because Vaishnav is the only person. Vaishnav is the only thing who can uh, get out of this attraction and repulsion. To get out of the attraction and repulsion, that is called bhajan. It is definitely bhajan. Otherwise, it there is no meaning apart from that. Attraction and repulsion. To get out of the cycle of that, it means that uh, no one can get out of that. Only who is actually busy in doing hari bhajan, only he can get out of that. Otherwise, normal people, it is not possible for them. in this present state actually the actually bonded jeevas prabhupad speaking that we are actually this life is just of two days and uh, maybe tomorrow we just need to leave this body in this two days life we are just thinking that whatever related to this body uh, and the material objects we are busy in that but though the, nobody has this kind of realization and thinking that this after this life when it will go what will happen what will happen after that nobody has this kind of thinking and uh, nobody has this kind of realization at all what to do for that this life actually is uh, it, it is actually everything this life or something is there after this maybe normal normally when that normal that bonded jeeva this material world all those bonded jeevas in this material world they have that material flow of thinking that all the time they are thinking of the material things wherever they are going and they are just uh, in the name of dharma whatever they are just want to accept that is not that is in actually it is called chhal chhal dharma which is artificial dharma so actually what actually written here gyan tamir nam adgyan tamir nam kahi ekta dharma artho kaam mukh aadi ei sob tar moddhe mukh mancha kuttobo pradhan jahan hoyte krishna bhakti hoy antartha ei jagat mein in this material world what uh, there that this bonded jeevas all the time that flow of uh, thinking material thinking it is all chal dharm this is all kapat what they are following in the shastras also it is written tamam 
that uh, in this in, in this material world in this whole material world that on this material world in the name of dharma what is actually going on in bhagavad ji mahapuran has uh, in this material world is just speaking bhagavad ji mahapuran he is actually speaking in front of whole world and in the name of dharma whatever is going on it is all all partial and in bhagavad ji mahapuran that is the actual topmost incomplete that is the actual give incomplete uh, incomplete he is giving the definition that shrimad bhagavad ji mahapuran the definition of dharma propa ji actually speaking that we are actually moving forward but or else we are going in the backward direction there should be one thinking there should be one uh, there should be one uh, there should be one vichar accord that we either we are going forward direction or backward why because this man dharma according to this man dharma that whatever that uh, our mind material mind is the master he is the director and he is actually guiding us towards whatever we want who actually who is follow those following those man dharma those mano dharmi all those people actually what they will just be going against absolute truth if they are just following their own material mind those who are uh, established in man dharma definitely all those people actually they will definitely be no, be going against that absolute truth the situation will be like that shri chetan mahaprabhu ji has already told us about the absolute truth what is the actual pathway they have just given us this instruction but those people who are actually kapat those who are having lot of false ego in their heart and they are speaking that we will become brahm ourselves only we will become brahm on ourselves only for these people actually they are just going in the reverse direction and we should just take him from that direction we sh- what actually you are speaking all foolish rubbish talking so prabhupa speaking that before dying before his death prabhupa speaking before his death at least we need to at least he should uh, uh, hear one to two good points about that absolute truth definitely you need to die today or tomorrow but before before uh, death you should not die like dogs dogs and cats at least you should hear that two two words from the mouth of that absolute version of about absolute truth here in our country also there are of thousands of isms matwad isms are there which people are following but bhagavad ji mahapuran and then bhagavad and bhagavad dharma there is no ism all that in all the direction there muslimism buddhism fascism everything is ism but our bhagavad dharma is not ism that is not not an ism it is the actual dharma of our atma this in this bharat bharat varsh also there are lot of isms in this bharat varsh everything is going on and a lot of uh, argue and logics are going on everything all the infinity logics will just get rest when we will be just following the instruction of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu that all the devotees of chaitanya mahaprabhu if will just they are getting their association then everything will get finished all this logic and arguing attitude will get finished vanquished those people who are not uh, thinking like this those who are not thinking at all that their thinking power is very less and they are not at all uh, far they don't have that far sightedness they are not thinking of the uh, uh, far thinking they don't have that far thinking what to do in which situation he is there he is always thinking that apart from this there is no other pathway which in which situation he is there at present now in the fallen condition he is thinking that he don't have this kind of vichar thinking that i after this something will be there and there are some few people are they are actually foolish they are thinking that you don't need to stay in this jagat in material world that your existence you just need to just need to hide that that is actually peacefulness he is actually just following this in buddhism it is written that achit achit matravad is going on 
and in shankaracharya that chin matravad he has been shankaracharya is chin matravad and every the uh, brahm is everything apart from everything is uh, bra- um, and those who are actually chetan vadi this atrocic idea they are just following that only that atrocic idea and the actual uh, absolute gyan they are just taking uh, collecting only material gyan but but they are actually they don't have that consciousness increasing it is just like a one deluding energy is there who is actually just giving them uh, uh, distressfulness all the time there is one deluding energy which is all the time giving them uh, which is just making them foolish and uh, whole material world is just uh, getting uh, on to that deluding energy only and the atma dharma katha when you are listening that when you are listening to bhagavad dharma katha by hearing hari katha of bhagwan then immediately this deluding energy you will not be uh, falling down in the well like this if some good things about bhagavad tat vigyan and atma dharma and bhagwan hari katha you will be hearing from the lotus mouth of vishnu then you will not be dying like cats and dogs there are in this whole material world just to give them the upadesh that uh, every every jeeva is a servant of bhagwan this kind of achar is very important because this will definitely give you krishna nushilan because this is the actual point of krishna nushilan that that because of the abhav of krishna nushilan because of that whatever uh, uh, problems we are having in all the four direction it will just vanquish oh actually nothing uh, is there we don't need to do krishna bhajan if we'll be doing krishna bhajan then definitely we'll not be getting into these problems lot of problems different kind of problems are there and everyone in their life actually there is problem in their life in everybody's life only there is actually one this deluding energy is creating problems for all the bonded jeevas and he is just getting uh, becoming foolish in that and this whole material world if we just it is just an item of uh, service of bhagwan and if they are just thinking that everything everyone is nitya das of krishna then there will be no problem just because there is lack of krishna nushilan there are lot of problems we are facing in front of us just because of lack of krishna nushilan in chaitanya charitamrit it is already written krishna holi sai ji anadi bhoir mukh atay maya tare jay satsa samsa bhagwan ke that bhagwan is speaking he is actually calling all the jeevas that you are actually anadi bhoir mukh all the jeevas and you there is actually their uh, nitya dharm is there inside your heart but because of your uh, problems and you are not even seeing and in the back you are not seeing me and you are bhagwan is speaking to jeev you are actually anadi bhai from infinity time you are bahirmukh and there is uh, atma dharm is there inside you you are actually tathastha shakti and when you can do my seva you have the chance to do my seva but still you just forget that and you are uh, from my point you are you are actually asking seva from me you are not you are actually have that power to do my seva but you are doing reverse you are asking seva from me everything material things you are asking from me so that absolute bhagwan when when it is actually created from that absolute bhagwan and you just want to enjoy those material objects it is the natural thing from the behavior of a normal jeeva bonded jeeva because every jeeva has come from bhagwan himself it is a just a tiny particle from bhagwan just he just want to enjoy those material objects this kind of which are that's why you are just getting into that bonded bonded state you on your own we hey, jeev you are always you always want to become prabhu but you don't know actually you are servant you have that serving attitude towards me you are not prabhu it it's already written in geeta by bhagwan 
दैट ऑल जीवाज आर कमिंग फ्रॉम मी एवरी जीव भगवत सेवक इज एक्चुअली इफ वी जस्ट थिंक अबाउट दैट दैट वी आर भगवत सेवक वी आर वैन वी आर गोइंग अगेंस्ट भगवत सेवा देन दैट भगवत सेवक एक्चुअली इफ वी एक्चुअली आर डूइंग सेवा ऑफ भगवान एंड वी आर जस्ट रिग्रेटिंग टू डू भगवत सेवा एंड वी आर आस्किंग सेवा फ्रॉम भगवान डेफिनेटली वील नॉट बी गेटिंग एटरनल ब्लिसफुलनेस डेफिनेटली वील नॉट गेट मंगल एट ऑल इफ वील नॉट पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन हरी कथा कीर्तन वी शुड हैव आर हार्ट फुल इन दैट एंड बिकॉज हरी इज द इज द मास्टर ऑफ इन्फिनिटी ब्रह्मांड एंड एवरी वन इज इट्स सर्वेंट्स हरि कथा जस्ट टू टेक हरि कथा जस्ट टू हेयर हरि कथा हरि कीर्तन दैट इज अ टॉप मोस्ट सेवा फॉर भगवान जस्ट टू हेयर हरि कथा ऑल द टाइम दैट इज अ टॉप मोस्ट सेवा अदरवाइज यू विल नॉट बी गेटिंग कनेक्शन विद दैट अपराकृत जगत देर इज नो अदर वे टू गेट इन कनेक्शन विद अपराकृत जगत एंड वॉट इज द एक्चुअल दोज हु एक्चुअली डूइंग इन एक्चुअल दैट हरि कथा कीर्तन ही इज एक्चुअली गुरु एंड दोज हु आर ऑल द टाइम जस्ट हेयरिंग दैट दैट विशुद्ध कथा दे आर एक्चुअली डिसाइपल दो श्रवणकारी दोज हु आर हेयरिंग विद द फुल समीसिव एटीट्यूड दे शुड हेयर हरि कथा इफ दे डोंट हैव शरणागति डोंट समीसिव एटीट्यूड देन दैट श्रवण क्रिया देन दैट विल बी गेट दैट विल नॉट गेट परफेक्ट जस्ट बाई हेयरिंग यू शुड हैव दैट आग्रह बाई हेयरिंग हरि कथा यू शुड हैव दैट एंगजाइटी टू हेयर there should be a positive you need to be positive he should be asking some questions that where to go how to do like this question should be come inside his heart when he is hearing hari katha he should not waste his time at all that is actually good why because it is written in the shastra prabhu was speaking that at at that day when he will be just uh, uh, when i will be just uh, leaving bhagavad katha and i am that at that day when i haven't heard hari katha maybe two days five days maybe one day and without hari katha kirtan i was staying and my one day has gone in that without hari katha kirtan that day is the top most bad day of my life in my life that is the top most dangerous day when i haven't uh, heard the bhagavad katha in my ears when i haven't heard the hari katha of bhagwan that day that is the top most bad day in my life because in bhagwat seva in guru vishnu seva if there is slightest gap gaping is there then maya devi definitely will go into that that's why prabhu was speaking at that day only will be the t- baddest day of my life that day will be the top most bad day of my life that will be the s- top most bad day of my life that day that when i will not be hearing the well i have haven't uh, uh, heard the prasang of krishna and i haven't heard hari katha hari kirtan at that day i haven't heard uh, bhagwan's katha kirtan i have just left that and um, my line my life is going with that that is the top most dangerous thing in my life apart from that nothing is more dangerous than that and this uh, akhil this unstable uh, material world this is actually anitya is it's not it's temporary this whole material world is actually temporary it's just looks like it is just like a dream mayavadi actually speaking this whole material world is not there at all there is no existence of this material world mayavadi actually speaking this whole material world is not there if if there is no existence of this material material world is there but should it is temporary this kind of vichar they have a very negative vichar he, how jagat is not there the, we can see you you can see everyone so actual thing is there that this uh, material world is just temporary as a it is not permanent but this uh, nikhil jagat is just uh, very temporary it's temporary means it is just like it looks like it like it is a dream this uh, nikhil jagat material world 
बट माया देवी विल डेफिनेटली स्टे जीव ईश्वर माया टाइम एवरीथिंग विल स्टे दे आर नित्य बट दिस निखिल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट इज अनित्य इट जस्ट लुक्स लाइक अ ड्रीम टू अस एंड इट इज वेरी अनस्टेबल एंड जस्ट बाय अविद्या वी कैनॉट इट इज एक्चुअली आवर ज्ञान जस्ट कॉन वैंकुस्ट इट जस्ट गेट इन टू द हिडन फॉर्म एंड एंड जस्ट बाय अविद्या आवर होल ज्ञान एवरीथिंग इज जस्ट गेट इन टू हिडन फॉर्म एंड सचिदानंद स्वरूप भगवान वी जस्ट गेट अवे फ्रॉम हिम दिस होल जी वॉज एक्चुअली आर कमिंग फ्रॉम सचिदानंद एंड वेन दे आर जस्ट गेटिंग डिस्ट्रॉयड this they are actually that actually absolute truth you can just see after that and it is but actually it is not at all true it is actually coming out from that absolute truth but actually it is not true it is temporary updesh amrit actually i we are discussing uh, we have discussed about the 8th number shlok What is that shlok? Rupa Goswami Pad actually speaking because Gaudiya in Gaudiya Bhajan the topmost thing in that uh, that is Braj Bhajan. With the Braj Bhav you just need to do Bhajan. That is called is the topmost permanent thing. That is permanent. Apart from up 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 than that there is nothing there. ग्रस्त भजन ब्रज भजन मीन्स रागनु का भजन इज द टॉप मोस्ट भजन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट नो भजन इज देयर हाउ टू डू भजन शिला जीव गोस्वामी पाद हैज शिला रूप गोस्वामी पाद हैज अबाउट द ब्रज भजन दैट प्रोसीडियर दैट ग्रेजुअल प्रोसीडियर ऑफ ब्रज भजन ही हैज टोल्ड एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू विच पद्धति वी जस्ट नीड टू डू भजन ब्रज भजन द रूप गोस्वामी पाद एक्चुअली आंसरिंग इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट इन दिस एट्थ श्लोका स्पीकिंग ओम दैट इज परम परम पर अखिलेश्वर दैट शब्द रूपी अवतार दैट इज तत्व वस्तु दैट इज दैट एक्चुअल एप्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ दैट दैट इज अत वस्तु दैट इज ऑल्सो दैट सत विच विच नेम भगवान नेम भगवत नाम तद नाम मीन्स भगवान नाम दैट भगवान श्री कृष्ण नेम रूप लीला एवरीथिंग What actually it is spoken by Rupa Goswami? But Rupa Goswami was speaking that the in whatever the uh, upadesh of all the bhajan that is the actual thing, that is the actual conclusion of all the thing is that that Krishna naam, roop, lila, parikar, vaishist, whatever is there, that is the topmost. That is by a sadhu, pure guru Vishnu. It is. वॉट एक्चुअली अकॉर्डिंग टू द अथेंटिक शास्त्र नॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू मायावाद शास्त्र दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू द साधु शास्त्र उपदेश ग्रेजुअली अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रोसीजियर ग्रेजुअल प्रोसीडियर वेन वी विल जस्ट बी हेयरिंग दैट वेन विल बी हेयरिंग दैट विद ग्रेजुअल प्रोसीजियर फ्रॉम द लोटस माउथ ऑफ प्योर साधु प्योर गुरु वैष्णव those who are actually all this naam gun leela and parikar gradually with gradual procedure iska anusaran mein 
we will just will be doing anusaran then the name leela form and everything of krishna definitely you just uh, make your mind and material mind and heart into the into krishna naam and just stay in braj all the time and all those brajwasis under their anugatya you just need to do bhajan definitely nikhil means 24 hours you just need to do hari bhajan 24 hours you just need to do jap and you just need to make sure that you are doing hari bhajan all the time साधु शास्त्र उपदिष्ट ऑल दिस एक्चुअली दिस उपदेश द वाणी ऑफ साधु ऑफ कृष्ण रिगार्डिंग कृष्ण भजन ग्रेजुअली विद प्रोसीडियर ग्रेजुअल प्रोसीडियर वी जस्ट नीड टू अनुसरण वी हैव टू हेयर दैट ग्लोरीज ग्लोरिफिकेशन फ्रॉम द लोटस माउंट ऑफ साधु गुरु वैष्णव एंड स्लोली स्टेडली विद ग्रेजुअल प्रोसीडियर वेन विल बी डूइंग दैट नाम रूप लीला ऑफ कृष्णा लीला एवरीथिंग definitely our heart when will be just making our con- heart control and definitely physically we can't be staying in braj then mentally we just need to stay in braj and that with braj bhav under that we just need to get anugatya under the braj bhav and slowly steadily and our whole life whatever is there all the time we just need to do we just need to realize about that braj bhav uh, and according to that procedure we just need to go whole day and night and there is no prasang of any asatsang at all so like this we if we'll just go on then definitely then upadesha amrit this shlok what rup ko swami pad actually speaking that is the topmost uh, uh, diamond for us nothing is more uh, topmost upadesh than this that's why it is written that the actual conclusion of all the uh, shloka all the sar the conclusion of this that the bhagwan naam bhagwan roop bhagwan form bhagwan leela bhagwan characteristic qualities when we'll be doing uh, just remembering and hearing the qualities of krishna gradually what will happen that gradually what will happen gradually you will feel you will just uh, be all the time you will be just uh, going into the serving of bhagwan krishna and you can just uh, make sh- uh, utilize your time in krishna naam form leela and everything so all this krishna naam lu prima leela adi whatever actually when you are doing anusmaran of that and all our mind heart and all our sense organs we are just engaging in krishna bhajan that is the actual secrecy of bhajan that is the actual conclusion of all the upadesh up up uh, top most upadesh apart from this is not there then all our sense organs even our material mind everything whatever sense organs are there actually it is all there it is there uh, busy in the anukirtan of bhagwan and uh, under the guidance of brajwasi gopikas if we are doing that is very good tishtan bhaje means just by uh, thinking like this definitely you have to stay in braj bhumi tadanuragi janaragi means that those who are pure guru vaishnav do or raganuga rupanuga bhakta those who actually under their guidance you just need to take anusaran and whatever upadesh you just need to follow their rules regulation and according to that you just need to do krishna bhajan and those who are actually eternal pashod of bhagwan just to do their anusaran not their anukaran we just need to don't to imitate them we just need to follow them according to that slowly steadily we will be utilizing all our time whatever time is there whatever time you have which is just like a flow of uh, current you just need to utilize that time otherwise everything will get destroyed everything will be useless
कालम नैद अखिलम इति उपदेश सारम अभी भक्ति नो ठाकुर नाउ एक्चुअली भक्ति नो ठाकुर एक्चुअली हैज रिटन व्याख्या की हैज जस्ट गिवन कमेंट्री ऑन दिस भक्ति नो भाष्य दैट कमेंट्री इन दिस कमेंट्री भक्ति नो ठाकुर राइटिंग दैट नामादि स्थिति दैट नाम आदि इट ऑल द टाइम नाम आदि मींस Why? Because in bhajan, in gradual procedure of bhajan, that is a gradual procedure, and those who are going on that, he definitely has those rules and regulations. That is the permanent rules of those who are in the vidhi mark. They have that strict rules and regulations. Strict regulations are there. He is following that in vidhi mark, and a lot of things we have already discussed that in vidhi mark. That rules, regulation, nishta, achar, everything we should be having unto the lotus feet of Guru Vishnu, and there actually it was written one thing there that those who are already participated before get just getting participated in ananya bhajan, so whatever faults are there in the sadak, this uh, bonded jiva, if this bonded jiva is coming uh, new to the bhajan, definitely he will just get fall down. Whenever he is not at all participated in ananya bhajan. And he is not at all participated in that ananya bhajan. Up till that point, whatever you will be speaking to him, definitely or his faults in his sense gratification he has, and he is just getting attracted to the material things. If you will be just hearing from his, uh, he'll doing his association, then definitely he will also get fall down. And if some person. He is actually already participated in ananya bhajan. He is just doing the association of that sadhu who is already participated in ananya bhajan. Then definitely he will be definitely he will get eternal blissfulness. Why? Because he is actually already there in ananya bhajan, and if uh, and if he is just following that uh, what the first slok we have already talked about that it is written there. Those who are actually doing ananya bhajan, actually, if there is some uh, nice some fault is there, then definitely it is not against his bhajan. Just be careful about this point. If someone is there, pratishtit in ananya bhajan, and he is actually pratishtit in ananya bhajan, and that sadhu, if some fault is there in his acharan, and in his body and some their behavior, something fault is there externally. But in his bhajan, that is not against his ananya bhajan. So that's why those who are already participated in ananya bhajan, if some that sadhu, if you are just finding any fault in him, then it is very dangerous. It lot of problems will come. Rup Goswami Pad actually, what this eighth slok, what he has told in this actually Rupa Nuk Bhajan, how to do, and Raga Nuk Bhajan, it is actually they have given us the clue that have given the total digdarshan of this. Total digdarshan he has given that according to this, if you will do like this, definitely you will do Hari Bhajan uh, under the guidance of Vrinda. You can do Vrindarandan, Nandanandan Bhajan. Before that, you can't do that. But if you will do, how to do that? Why? Because we know that that in the shastra, according to the shastras, if we will be doing according to the rule and regulation of shastra, then according to the then we will be getting the vidhi mark bhajan, and there will be some greediness inside our heart, and according to that greediness, greediness, if we will be just going in his bhajan, that is very mangal may for him. It will be very useful for him. Like this, so those who are actually going according to the shastras, and he is just following the rules and regulation of shastras, that is called actually vidhi mark. And rag mark actually, there is actually different vichar in that. What actually actually written there? Tattat bhavadi madhurje, shute dhijat apikshate. Jab koi 
when actually when some actually following the seva mood of different uh, particular brajwasi like lalita vishaka from everyone in braj all the sakin manjris and mani manjri kanak manjri champak lata manjri all actually manjris are there and sakhis are there if we are actually following those sakhi manjris and the thing is that if you are following just uh, just following one particular seva of one uh, particular manjri or uh, in the brajwasis if you are just uh, following particular seva of one uh, one party of some seva that seva bhav you are following if you are just getting attracted to that particular bhav of seva then definitely you have to do anugatya of that if you are just need to do the uh, anugatya of that brajwasi only that is actually ananya ananya hari katha what is going on this hari katha just by hearing that only just by hearing it this hari katha there will be just greediness inside your heart then there will be no uh, there will be no you will not be going against the uh, shastra that because shastra regul rules and regulation will you will not at all follow that so then what will happen then no, no kind of interpretation and of shastra and nothing will uh, stand in the way that is the actual symptom of greediness this is the actual uh, symptom of a prakrit greediness that the rules regulations just by getting uh, hearing about the uh, bhav of brajwasi and you are just seeing the bhav of that brajwasi you are just getting more and more serving attitude inside your heart and that greediness is coming to serve more and this shastra yukti no uh, rules and regulation will stand there natro shastro na yukti cha talovutpatti lakshana matlab means that greediness what is according to that uh, just want to serve according to that prajwasi that bhav that greediness when it is just there uh, present inside our heart in order to just get activate inside our heart whatever he is doing that shastra part everything it is not like that that greediness when it is just getting inside his heart that the yukti of the shastra the rules and regulations what are there in the shastras and it will not stand there in their way automatically it will be there it's an automatic process shastra yukti if he is not uh, it chaitanya ji tamrit it is written there that shastra yukti nahi mane shastra yukti nahi mane raganuga prakriti raganuga bhajan ka prakriti aisa the raganuga bhajan that pra- prakriti is pravriti is like this a separate attraction will be there for bhagwan krishna and according to your own bhagwan you will be serving krishna nandan nandan krishna and there by vidhi and nished you will not be you if you will do like this you it will not stay that is called raganuga vidhi marg will not stand there that is called raganuga in this shastra yukti there will it will not stand in your way but it doesn't mean that uh, if there is no shastra yukti then definitely you just need to throw shastra it is not like that it means that that greediness that greediness is there no inside your heart is there some kind of a prakrit greediness is there that just 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 to increase that generation if if is just getting if just reading uh, shastra and is just getting greediness from the market it is not like that and what i am speaking that greediness definitely this logic and uh, shastra rules regulation will not stand in the way but in but in any condition this greediness is just getting inside your heart this greediness you just need to make sure under the guidance of guru vishnu you are doing their association you are going forward in your bhajan then definitely you need the vichar of shastra but if that greediness is there how to proceed further in our bhajan that is very important okay greediness is there to do bhajan i have already told this is not artificial greediness artificial greediness when it is there inside have definitely you will get hell because it is material lobe material greediness artificial greediness is not the automatically that greediness will come that gurudev always used to speak in chaitanya charitamrit that swabhavik ki putti brajwasi putti brajwasi swabhavik ki putti krishna putti ye jo 
that this swabhav that is that is spontaneous this is continuous natural it is uninterrupted this is natural this is the actual meaning so swabhavik naturally this is actually natural that's naturally it is prem why because there is no reason for that that greediness automatically coming it is spontaneous and after that spontaneous greediness uh, how to proceed further in our bhajan for that in order to understand that guru vaishnav we just need to go uh, that and we just need to understand the shastras and low butpatti that greediness uh, we don't require but after that greediness is coming automatically how to proceed further in our bhajan that is very important that's why just need to uh, take the rules regulation of shastras so without uh, understanding the shastra yukti if he's not following shastras he just need to follow that he he will not be following that raganuga bhakta will not follow that rules regulation of shastras now what i have already told you that uh, how that greediness will come and uh, some persons actually they have some misconception that greediness uh, this aprakrit greediness definitely this uh, uh, rot for you need a lot of efforts for that there is two to four words regarding this whatever you are getting that bhav according to what brajwas you are seeing just you understand that you are seeing nand baba and under the anugatya of nand baba whatever the seva mood of nand baba you are uh, liking that or maybe you shri dham or uh, you are seeing and subal madhumangal if any of of the one you are just seeing the serving attitude of those uh, that uh, you are just getting attracted to that then definitely that is the uh, ac- the reason what i have told you if that is actually lobe that is actually greediness a prakrit greediness and this kind of greediness is definitely will be automatic in that there is no actually rules regulation of shastra no function of shastras is there but you are getting that greediness inside your heart when it is there it is spontaneous now actually you need to how to proceed further how to go like that and you need the uh, yukti of shastra and i have already told previously that the actual seed of uh, the seed of mango only mango will just uh, you will get mango you will not get uh, yamun and from the jam only you will get jam you will not get mango so it is very important that all this kind of logic and argument is all going from infinity period and a seed is first or the tree is first or the fruit is uh, the tree is first you let me know is seed is first or the fruit is first there this logic and argument this is this is baseless no uh, it is going from infinity time because uh, bhagwan's creation is uh, infinity and if tree is there not there then f- from where seed has come and from the seed is there then from where tree has come there is no actually uh, argument regarding this this creation is from infinity period and uh, from infinity period this creation is going on of bhagwan so now question is coming that if someone is speaking that uh, that inside me that lalita sakhi and some other manjri that bhav actually i just want to just take that bhava but whether it is true or false there should be some exam regarding that there should be some if some one is purposely actually is just uh, thinking that he is under the guiding guidance of some muni manjri champak lata manjri or lalita sakhi that i i actually liking that but he knows that raganuga bhajan rupanug bhajan it is a top most he knows that but he don't know about this that inside that his heart his seed that is fixed he can't go here and there definitely be careful he can't go by his own fanciful mood he can't become a gopi like that that is not possible with forcible mood inside the heart of each and every jeev of what is that uh, swaroop is there in the hidden form that is very secret it will not get changed at all it will never get changed at all if someone is thinking that he, that will be different some some people are thinking it in a different way like those actually who's in that swaroop he is actually like he is he that madhur ras manjri swaroop is there inside his heart that swaroop is there and you are just forcefully making him a sakha or a gopbalak then it is not good 
दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल वॉट एवर स्वरूप इज देर दैट इज फिक्स फॉर हिम यू कांट चेंज दैट फोर्सिबली यू कांट फ्रॉम द मैंगो ट्री यू कांट फ्रॉम द सीड ऑफ मैंगो यू आर गेटिंग मैंगो एंड फ्रॉम जाम सीड यू आर गेटिंग जाम बट रिवर्स इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल लाइक श्री मुरारी गुप्त जी महाप्रभु एक्चुअली इन जस्ट इन जोकिंग मूड जस्ट जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेक हिज परीक्षा बट मुरारी गुप्त एक्चुअली कांट चेंज हिज फिक्स स्वरूप दैट राम भजन द सर्विंग एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स राम ही कांट लिव बिकॉज ही इज हनुमान जी ही स्वयं हनुमान सो हाउ ही कैंट लीव हाउ ही कैन लिव सर्विंग एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स राम वेन महाप्रभु एक्चुअली एट लास्ट दैट ही हैज दैट वेरी रेयर निष्ठा देन आफ्टर दैट महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग दैट एक्चुअली यू आर हनुमान जी स्वयं दैट वाई यू हैव टू चेंज दैट भावा आई एम वॉज जस्ट एक्चुअली टेकिंग योर एग्जामिनेशन दैट यू जस्ट नीड टू डू कृष्ण भजन दैट कृष्ण इज ऑल रसमय ही इज अनमय यू जस्ट नीड टू डू हिज भजन एंड यू विल गेट मोर स्वीटनेस इन दैट बट आई हैव जस्ट गिवन यू सो मच थिंकिंग अबाउट इट बट द एक्चुअल स्वरूप ऑफ मुरारी गुप्त कैन नॉट गेट चेंज इट इज फिक्सड so after that mahaprabhu actually just started crying in front of mahaprabhu murari gupt that actually whole night i was just uh, thinking of that just uh, you just need to do krishna bhajan but uh, when i was thinking that i was actually uh, not at all uh, asamarth i am actually already given my head onto the lotus feet of ramchandra ji now actually this head of mine actually it is uh, very difficult to get out of the uh, lotus feet of ramchandra ji now ram ji charan mui pichwa chi matha hai bikri kar diya i have just sold my head onto lotus feet of ramchandra ji so after that mahaprabhu actually just uh, glorifying him why you have to change yourself your swarup is like this you are hanuman ji you can't change your swarup what's your seva it is at a lotus feet of ramchandra that is unique nobody can be uh, up front in front of you like that anupam also anupam ji you already know who is anupam ji he is actually with sanatan goswami pad and rup goswami pad he is actually the brother small brother means that he is the actual uh, father of jeev goswami pad rup sanatan ji actually both of them just told him that uh, and uh, just told him that you so actually all the three brothers if we can just do all the time we can do krishna bhajan that will be very good no so you do one thing that you just uh, you just do krishna bhajan now and you just uh, quit ram bhajan and whole night actually anupam ji just thinking but he can't do anything at last he was actually is just speaking to sanatan and rup goswami to his big brother that on to the lotus feet is just started crying and speaking that it is not possible for me to just get that uh, to to get uh, uh, out from the lotus feet of ramchandra ji then anupam ji sanatan and rup goswami was just uh, glorifying him that after so much of discussion with you still you, your swarup is already fixed by just uh, if any one speaking to you that uh, that swarup is just getting changed then it will not be swarup swarup means it's fixed so all these things actually it's coming uh, we are discussing it so i have already told you one thing that lobe greediness what mahaprabhu actually is speaking already speaking in chatana charitamrit that millions of millions of birth what you have that sukriti when you get accumulated then that is a uh, very difficult this hari bhajan krishna bhakti rasa bhavata bhavitam utikriyatam yadi jadi agar mile if we are getting that krishna bhav that rasmay krishna bhav that if krishna bhakti we are getting then definitely you just need to buy him definitely and there is no time at all whether at the time of diksha some time is there 
एंड महाराज एक्चुअली आई डोंट नो डेट इज कमली एक्चुअली इट इज इन दैशाख मंथ एंड इट्स नॉट इन द जेठ मंथ एंड मे बी इट इज देयर इन द श्रवन मंथ दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार यू जस्ट थ्रो दैट इट इज रिटर्न इन द शास्त्र दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार डेफिनेटली दिस इट विल बी एप्लीकेबल इन विद मार्ग बट बट दिस टॉप मोस्ट महापुरुष महावैष्णव इन हु इज डोंट डू एनी विचार ऑफ नाइट जेस्ट वैशाख मंथ इमीडिएटली यू टेक दीक्षा फ्रॉम हिम एंड इन द लास्ट इट इज रिटर्न ओके एट दिस डेट यू जस्ट नीड टू डू दीक्षा एंड यू जस्ट नीड टू डू लाइक दैट एवरी थिंग इज देयर बट स्टिल इन एट लास्ट देर इज वन रोल इफ दैट सदगुरु ही इज अ वेरी प्योर वैष्णव If he, you are getting at twelve o'clock in the night time, still you don't need to leave him. Where he will go, he, you, you go, you can't understand. When Odhya Dhyat Goswami see that Madhvendra Puri Pad has come, he is a topmost um, Vaishnav, topmost Mahapurush, and Adhya Dhyat Charas Pi has getting attracted to that Mahapurush. And this is my guru, and you just need to give me Diksha. He is speaking to Madhvendra Puri Pad. So this uh, Mahan Vaishnav we are getting, then nothing is required. because our life is going we just need to do that if that greediness is there inside our heart if with kapat bhav we i am coming going in front of madhvendra puri pad then it is not at all possible why because prabhupad actually has uh, written in vaishnav ke madhvendra puri bhav ghar churi kahu na kurilo jano ho sei bhav yaad yaad karke rakhna just remember this point prabhupad already speaking this that you see that madhvendra puri pad he has no money with him and nothing is there no land property is there but still but don't think no kapat bhav is there in him madhvendra pari in bhav ghar in the home of bhav where that bhav that actual thing is there in that there is no uh, kapat kapatness in that that madhvendra puri pad if you got madhvendra pur if we have this kind of lol the greediness is there to get that mahapurush by just giving money we will not get madhvendra puri pad ishwar puri pad hasn't uh, buy madhvendra puri pad by money advait ko sai hasn't given any money to buy uh, madhvendra puri pad so how it is possible just by seeing only everything is done so just don't need to uh, leave that like advait ko sai has done taken and in the shastra it is also written that our nitanand prabhu also has taken diksha from uh, madhvendra puri somebody speaking that nitanand prabhu has taken diksha from lakshmipati uh, that gurudev which is above madhvendra puri pad nitanand prabhu has somebody speaking and and somebody speaking no it they have taken from madhvendra puri because he is actually balram <laughs> what diksha he has to take now so whatever is there let us leave that so actually the thing is that lolya means greediness that greediness that lobe should be there and lobe that greediness we have to produce that and after that we just it is not like that we will be taking diksha advait gochare has uh, have a naturally that uh, greediness to take diksha from uh, madhvendra puri pad so there is no greediness required there our gorang gorang mahaprabhu also has the shown the same leela to us like man he just went to gaya and just giving pind uh, for their uh, pitra and bhagwan actually showing just by giving one example to everyone no just showing that so in gaya dham when mahaprabhu when just went there and uh, all the there actually with ishwar puri pad he just met with ishwar puri pad there and Mah- and uh, mahaprabhu just jump in the air and just with full enthusiastic mood he is speaking today actually my gaya coming to gaya has become successful just by meeting you here today why that j- i have just taken the uh, darshan of your lotus feet so my gaya uh, yatra is uh, top most is become top most successful ei ami deho tamai koi nu samarpan e sansar samut hai mai hoyte uddhar hoye e mera so this actually all my body speech and mind i am just surrendering on your lotus feet and you just please uh, get me out of this material world so this mahaprabhu actually is not at all doing any drama no mahaprabhu inside is that naturally that prema is there that uh, greediness is there to get mahapurush kripa sadguru kripa and in this way showing us and if we just see this like that then 
for greediness in order to get that greediness that we will just be reading ujwal nilmani all the shastra will be reading and we will just do this and that so law this is not a production uh, automatically it will uh, be there inside our heart if that greediness is there inside our heart then definitely automatically we'll go ahead in the path of what is the procedure to go uh, ahead in the bhajan then according to that we just need to follow the shastra our bhakti no thakur also is speaking there is a very nice discussion about this rup goswami pad has told this that i will just be discussing it tomorrow this prasang that in this material world lot of name is there and not of fame and not of qualities and character are there that why you will just do bhajan of bhagwan and be leaving all this so all this uh, roop gun leela everything of this material world what you are getting it is all contaminated that is it actually it is all shadow it is not at all permanent that will there is no actual uh, swarup there but that uh, anand will be just temporary in this material world maybe just you get bhakti vinod thakur has written in the kirtan also kishir sansar ei chhaya baji pray yate mamata kori pitha de jaye kya kahan ka sansar hai from what which sansar is this from where the, how much this attachment is coming to us bhakti vinod thakur has written this krishna's sansar this is just like a shadow लाइक बाजीगर बाजीगर दैट दैट द टॉप मोस्ट लीला ऑफ द प्लेइंग ऑफ दोज बाजीगर इट इज जस्ट लाइक दैट दैट भगवान नेम रूप क्वालिटीज करेक्टर एवरीथिंग इज देयर बट इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड इट इज आल्सो प्रेजेंट देयर or if there is hero there is material hero in cinema tv everything is there they are taking enjoyment in that that is also one kind of ras everything is ras no one mother is just giving a prema to child that is also called material ras this is there present in this material world this ras cannot you can cannot uh, uh, prohibit that so that act, absolute ras just by doing the bhajan of that absolute ras are krishna bhajan you can speak why you are speaking absolute ras ras bhajan is also there कृष्ण भजन मीन्स यू आर डूइंग एब्सोल्यूट रस भजन भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर एज जस्ट परसोनिफाइड रस इन वन फॉर्म भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर हैज परसोनिफाइड रस एंड हैव शोन अस द स्वरूप ऑफ रस सो वॉट एवर मटीरियल रस वी आर गेटिंग देयर इज नो स्वरूप ऑफ दिस इट इज जस्ट अ शेडो बट दैट अपराक्रिय जगत दैट स्वरूप इट इट हैज अ ट्रांसेंडेंटल स्वरूप एंड दैट्स वाई भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर जस्ट प्रेइंग टू रस ऑन टू द लोटस स्वीट ऑफ रस ओ रस Actually, you please do keep on me. Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ji is just praying on to lotus feet of Ras. That oh Ras, you just do keep on me. Like uh, just need to do keep on me. That Ras Swarup is there. That transcendental Ras Swarup is there. I am that uh, material Ras is having no Swarup at all. I will be just discussing it tomorrow. So in this material world, all these name, uh, fame, characteristics, hero, heroine, uh, synonyms, lot of heroes and heroines are coming. and they are just uh, doing material lust with them that is not at all prem that is lust and in this aparagrit jagat shri shri radha govind leela is there it just looks like similar one and the same that's why rup goswami pad speaking that uh, infinity whatever updesh are there in this one material world and who has given those uh, infinity updesh that is the top most updesh is just that to stay in braj and uh, especially under the guidance of that uh, bhav of the brajwasi you just need to get it inside your mind and heart and you will just getting the transcendental enjoyment by just doing that just by your just need to con- your mind and your uh, tongue you just need to in parallel and just all your sense cor- organ should be in one line like material mind tongue they should be in one line try to harmonize each and everything and bring them all in one line and just by doing that just stay in vrindavan in the maybe mentally or physically if it is possible you can stay and go on doing sankirtan and all the time 24 hours 24 by 7 you just need to all years small months everything is gone but bhajan 
there is this kind of uh, uh, is there we don't want to do that is the actual updesh of rup goswami pad you just start doing bhajan and shila sachidanand bhakti mein thakur has uh, this bhashya he has written uh, what he has written bhakti mein thakur has speak speaking that when you are just uh, having the smriti of uh, hari naam naam smriti when you will be thinking of when you will be just thinking of the nami if you are not thinking of nami then what you will ta- uh, do to take a naam that is actually phaka naam that is fake name like like our nishkinchan maharaj in our chandigarh he used to speak this that he is just like a parrot he is just uh, uh, just the hunter will come and he will just make a whole uh, trap for us <laughs> that parrot actually is there in that uh, trap he is so foolish but and he is speaking that thing so like this if you will be like this then it will be very impossible name and uh, the bhagwan is not different from each other if you don't have this kind of gyan then you will just be like a parrot speaking hare krishna hare krishna like this so what will happen with that hey, that will do nama bhas and nama prat can also be done in this case nama bhas is still good and uh, in nama bhas uh, just by doing slowly steadily your material bondage will get cut but when you will do nama prat definitely all opulences will come to you because you are getting nama prat not of money you will get all fame pratishtha will and definitely will take you to hell and nothing will happen apart from that nama prat is very very dangerous you don't need to do nama prat so at least you just need to do nama bhas but still with very careful and attentive mood prabhupad actually speaking all the time that when this material body is this material made of five elements and our material mind i am actually just connecting with that and my mind and my bhai bhav actually is uh, actually connecting with my body and in any time in this condition shuddh naam cannot be possible when our material body and material mind is there or uh, up till that point shuddh naam is not at all possible for that time that is not at all possible so that's why shri lasanatan go swami pad in bharat bhagavat amrit has already written a shlok he has already sp- uh, speaking this point what krishna bhakti sudha pana deho daik vishte te sam panchabodik deho pi sachidanand when uh, we have that material body and we have attention on this material body and we whatever connection in this with this material body we have that attention with that up till that vastavik bhajan shuddha hari naam is not possible for that time prabhupad always used to speak that the swarup of naam and the bhagwan himself that and your own swarup just by realizing that you just need to do hari naam otherwise naam will not be possible सो नाम आदि भक्ति में ठाकुर स्पीकिंग जस्ट बाय टेकिंग द स्मृति ऑफ नाम ऑल द टाइम इन योर माइंड एंड प्रभुपाद ऑल यूज टू स्पीक इन वैष्णो के एज वेल ऑल एक्चुअली हैव स्पोकन दिस पॉइंट ऑल दिस प्रभुपाद हैव स्पोकन इन वैष्णो के that just by the prabhav of kirtan when that smara smaran is spontaneous and continuous and when it becomes normal up till that point it becomes continuous and spontaneous then slowly steadily this hari naam and uh, it is actually the smriti is just connected then definitely it is it will become permanent if that smriti is not there and still naam is going on but that naam is useless what you are speaking that is not all good name shuddh naam so that's why namadi smriti you just need to remember naam i have already told you previously in the previous days that shravan kirtan and smaran all are inter interrelated to each other they are so much interrelated that uh, you feel be living one thing the other thing cannot be possible just i have given you one example that my shravan indriya that my shravan indriya is ears so everyone has that so by just having this shravan indriya if we will get hari katha that is not a thing if our ears are there uh, you also have that but just to the success of your ears shravan indriya is to just hear hari katha but uh, how, from here where we will just get hari katha we need one person who can speak that actual hari katha then we can hear that no 
सो दैट एब्सोल्यूट वक्ता इज रिक्वायर्ड हु कैन स्पीक दैट प्योर हरि कथा सो फॉर दैट दैट महापुरुष फ्रॉम द लोटस माउथ ऑफ इज बीनियर्स नीड टू हेयर दैट हरि कथा सो माय श्रवण एंड एंड द अदर प्रवचन जस्ट नीड टू हैव दैट फ्रॉम हिज माउथ सो वी जस्ट नीड टू हैव पेशेंसी वाइल हियरिंग हरि कथा सो दैट्स व्हाई श्रवण इज देयर एंड कीर्तन इज देयर ऑल बोथ द थिंग्स आर देयर एंड आई विल बी जस्ट टेलिंग यू नाउ एंड इफ इज डूइंग एक्चुअल हरि कथा समवन इज डूइंग एक्चुअल हरि कथा एंड ही इज एक्चुअली ही हैज दैट स्मृति ही कैन ही ऑलवेज हैज द स्मृति ऑफ भगवान इन हिज माइंड एंड विदाउट दैट कैन ही ही डोंट हैव एनी शरणागति एंड हिज कॉन्शियसनेस ऑन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्ण एंड इज स्पीकिंग हरि कथा दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो दैट्स वाई श्रवण कीर्तन दोज हु आर एक्चुअली हेयरिंग दे आर इन देयर रिमेंबरेंस ऑल द टाइम भगवान इज देयर दे हैव दैट रियलाइजेशन ऑफ भगवान ऑल द टाइम so there are so much of vakta those who are doing hari katha pravachan those top most vaishnav when they are just speaking pravachan of hari katha that they are actually this doing hari katha there is they are just actually showing us the actual real absolute truth that is called actually hari katha they are like bhakti vinod thakur what he has written or doing used to do pravachan whatever he is doing that pravachan that pravachan uh, object is actually i'm meeting with that object whether he is speaking about vrindavan i'm going to vrindavan if he is speaking about nirdwap i'm going to nirdwap mentally so all this actually what i'm speaking whether it's correct or not it is actually right like prabodhan and saraswati pad in his whole life he hasn't went to nirdwap dham for a single time just be careful about this point in his whole life prabodhan and saraswati pad hasn't went to vrindavan even for a single time he has just went to vrindavan sorry but in his whole time it is not written in every that he maybe he has went to purushottam before but in navadvip definitely it is sure he hasn't went there he hasn't gone to navadvip dham but how it is possible that he is speaking the actual swarup of navadvip he is uh, just glorifying that manifesting that in front of us there is no, not even a father in this whole material world who can do that whole writing of the navadvip shatakam he has just written that how it is possible if they are actually of not from navadvip and they haven't seen navadvip so how they can write about navadvip it is actually all useless talking they haven't seen navadvip and how still how they are speaking about navadvip maharaj actually are just thinking it wrongly they are actually already in their swarup in navadvip without the taking darshan of navadvip prabodhan swarati swaraswati pas hasn't written this definitely he has taken the darshan otherwise how he can write that so this uh, with our two eyes when we are seeing that that is not a big thing but with our two eyes this urine stool and all this men women and money we are building land property we can see but uh, with our two eyes it is not nothing is there after that there is one third eye we need that third eye that gyan chakshu that gyan eyes without that everything is spoiled if uh, if we want to do bhajan just slowly steadily by the kripa of gurudev if we are doing bhajan under a guru anugatya then that gyan chakshu just got uh, opened there it is written there no in the kirtan it is already written there no every day you just you just speaking all the time but you don't have any realization regarding this so chakshur humilitana that uh, he has just opened our eyes oh, my eyes are always there my eyes are always open no not these eyes that gyan anjan shala i just want to open my third eye atma 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 chakshu so that i can see that fine form very fine form all bhagwan bhagwan naam dham devotees and what are the glorification of devotee everything will be seen that is called gyan chakshu you just need to with see with that so shila bhakti vinod thakur actually has written in the bhashya so he is beautiful in a very small line in just two words he is speaking so beautifully namadi means 
जैसे नामादि वट डू मीन बाई नामादि दैट नामादि मीन्स दैट इफ दैट शुद्ध नाम इज कमिंग दैन डेफिनेटली हु इज एक्चुअली कनेक्टेड विद नाम हु दैट पर्सन इज कनेक्टेड विद नाम ऑल लीला परिकर रूप गुण एवरी थिंग इज कनेक्टेड विद दैट एंड एवरी थिंग इज कनेक्टेड विद दैट ऑल टूगेदर एंड दैट्स वाई नाम आदि इट्स रिटर्न ही हैज जस्ट सो दिस नाम आदि स्मृति वेन वी आर रिमेंबरिंग दैट लीला रूप गुण एवरी थिंग वेन दिस इज एक्चुअली अ ग्रेज प्रोसीडियर जीव गोस्वामी पाद हैज जस्ट रिटर्न इन द संदर्भ डेफिनेटली वी विल डिस्कस दिस टू मोरो so all these things are there so naam aadi smriti when you are this uh, it should be there remembrance should be there inside our mind and all kirtan should be going all the time inside our mind and uh, and in order to engage yourself you just engage yourself your tongue after that your mind your heart you just need to make into one platform and just need to engage them in hari bhajan with gradual procedure all sense organs you just need to engage in hari bhajan and i have already told that my tongue actually is just speaking anything and my heart is speaking speaking something else it's not like that they should be in parallel to one another if what the tongue is speaking definitely heart should be speaking that same thing that's why hari radharani is speaking the same thing uh, in in front in kurukshetra battlefield Uh, in kurukshetra uh, radha rani is speaking in front of krishna mormon bindavan mone bane karimani aner hridayman mormon bindavan mone 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 bane ek ko ek karimani he e radha rani sikhaye that's radha rani actually is telling us to man so our heart and whatever all sense organs are there whatever that they are all parallel to each other whatever is there in the tongue that tongue is speaking harinam and the heart is going is going in different direction so everything is done you see destroyed everything so our heart is going in different way and our diva is speaking hare krishna hare krishna what is the use then no use actually radha rani actually telling us this thing then if if i'll just uh, definitely you lotus feet will come in vrindavan then definitely i will be thinking that full kripa is there of yours on me rather than speaking this my heart and my uh, my body and everything is uh, one there is no difference all vrindavan or is my heart rather than speaking that my heart is not different from vrindavan that is what is my heart that is vrindavan there is no no difference between that and for other person but he is speaking something in his uh, mouth and uh, in his heart something else is going on so it's all actually going on like this all kapat bhav is there in kapat material world everyone is kapat this kapat uh, material world is there so naam adi smriti and kirtan you should engage yourself in that all your sense organs gradually with gradual procedure they should be harmonized in one parallel direction so nice actually so beautifully has spoken this point that in the eighth shlok the total secret of the bhajan it is written in just two words rup goswami pad has given in two words whatever the secrecy of this bhajan rajya he has just manifested in this eighth shlok in two words that what is should be the bhajan pranali and what where should be the place and how to do bhajan what is should be gradual promotional procedure all the time you just need to do chap of harinam and ultimately spontaneously spontaneously and continuity will be there all the time it will be going on that bhajan nirantar ya means uninterrupted bhajan will just go on and that's why that with the full uh, continuous sadhan bhajan with naam sankirtan etc you just need to do not agli kirtan 
वॉट इज कीर्तन इज ऑलवेज ब्यूटिफुल बट सुकीर्तन इट इज रिटर्न सुकीर्तन मीन्स दैट इज वेरी इन डेप्थ सुकीर्तन मीन्स दैट यू आर वॉट वॉट यू आर डूइंग रूपानुक भजन रागानुक भजन ऑन इज ओन दैट इज नॉट सुकीर्तन दैट ही हैज जस्ट लेफ्ट द अनुगत्य ऑफ इज गुरुदेव सो सुकीर्तन मीन्स जस्ट टू डू हरिनाम सुकीर्तन सुकीर्तन इट मीन्स दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू द श्रॉत परंपरा दैट करंट ऑफ दैट यू नीड टू डू द संकीर्तन ऑफ दैट दैट यू जस्ट नीड टू डू वॉट एवर यू हैव हर्ड फ्रॉम गुरुदेव यू जस्ट नीड टू डू यू आर नॉट डोंट डू एनी इंडिविजुअल एफर्ट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू यूर ओन यू डोंट नीड टू डू कीर्तन तो कीर्तन विच इज ऑलवेज सेटिस्फाइंग भगवान अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव डेफिनेटली दैट कीर्तन विल सेटिस्फाई कृष्णा दैट इज सुकीर्तन and those who are anugatya hin that is called kukirtan that is kukirtan dhati kirtan agli that is not sukirtan and sukirtan means that by body speech and mind everything is there uh, with that kirtan and our body is doing every doing different thing and our tongue is speaking different thing and heart is going different thing that is called kuk uh, kukirtan but sukik sukirtan is opposite so that's why in this so like this uh, beautiful kirtan and uh, by taking remembrance of uh, that uh, vidhi is there just need to just have to get uh, everything in parallel uh, condition and all the time you just need to stay in braj if physically you are not there in braj then at least mentally you just need to stay in braj raghunath das goswami padi श्रीमन महाप्रभु हैज स्पोक स्पीकिंग स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट ओनली ओनली वन पॉइंट दैट दैट रघुनाथ दस को स्वामी गिविंग इंडिकेशन टू हिम दैट इन ब्रज ऑल द टाइम यू जस्ट नीड टू वर्शिप राधा गोविंद सतत मीन्स देर इज नो दे शुड बी स्पॉन्टिन्यूस इट शुड बी स्पॉन्टिन्यूस कॉन्टिन्यूस नो ब्रेकिंग इज गैपिंग इज देयर सो लाइक दिस इफ वी कैन सी दैट जस्ट बी स्टेइंग इन ब्रज that brajwasi gan all those with having braj bhav in them you just need to do anugatya of them and if that bhav is just you are getting it very nice in your heart then you just need to do the anugatya of them and all the time def all the time what you have in your whole life uh, remaining whatever remaining time is there in your life definitely you just need to spend it in seva all the time just need to do seva without bhajan without bhajan brother every time should not go jagdanand pandit speaking this in uh, in his book small book he is writing in prem vivarth he is writing this oh dekho bhai oh brother you, you should not uh, destroy your time in maya devi because each and every second has so much value that uh, in that uh, time if i'll just get fall down and my smriti is, de- is there with krishna then it is very good if my smriti is continuous with krishna then it is good otherwise everything is useless so that's why some person actually used to speak time is money prabhupada actually speak is foolish everyone is foolish time is parmarth lot of people used to speak time is money but prabhupada you know time is not money time is parmarth this is actually all demons asuric people they have this kind of which are that time is money these all are actually asuric people they have this uh, conception time is parmarth each and every drop of time whatever you just need to save that for bhajan what actually here this manas seva mental seva just to stay in mentally in brajwas physically may be okay or not there but mentally you have to stay there so this indication given by mahaprabhu to raghunath das goswami everything he has just told you and raghunath das goswami also has spoken in written in mansiksha has written it very nicely about nice bhav he has just uh, what mahaprabhu has told to raghunath das goswami he has just represented in mansiksha so hum vichar karte hain 
that i will definitely be uh, speaking that manasik chapter upadeshamrit so this actually this uh, this uh, anuvritti what that bhashya of bhakti no thakur we have just uh, heard and bhakti no thakur has also written and man manu griti ban kirtan he has written this kirtan which is very important to hear because bhakti no thakur what has written that one he has just written bhashya that that shloka what uh, bharu goswami pad used to speak that in summary form conclusive form he is just used to represent in front of us there is no complication in that that is a straight bhashya but in the form of kirtan what bhakti no thakur writing all the time whether it's uh, what mahaprabhu speaking in the form of kirtan uh, bhakti no thakur want to write that so marwanu marwanu vad marwanu vad ki is different that is the first bhashya what we was talking that is bhakti no krit bhashya but now i am speaking what marwanu marwanu vad giti so nice kirtan you see i have already just uh, uh, doing that kirtan tomorrow yesterday bhakti no thakur has written a very nice kirtan so nice kirtan i have done it already yesterday very nice uh, straight kirtan is there mm, very nice kirtan is this so nice beautiful kirtan is this and bhakti no thakur speaking hari gai hari he o rupa go sai you have just came in the form of gurudev in front of us and he is giving all the instructions in my ears and you are giving me in my ears these instru- uh, transcendental instructions and rupa go sai pad what he has taught us rupa go sai pad He is actually come in the form of Guru Dev. He is speaking. You just hear about my katha. You are actually going for Hari Nam now. All the time you want to know Hari Nam, 
यू आर एक्चुअली कंगाल यू आर एक्चुअली ऑल द टाइम यू शुड हैव दैट रिच यू ऑल द टाइम इन हरी नाम यू विल गेट आनंद इन हरी नाम यू डू वन थिंग यू जस्ट वॉट वॉट उपदेश रूप गोस्वामी गिविंग दैट कृष्ण नाम कृष्ण रूप कृष्ण गुण विद वेरी केयरफुल मूड विद इन साइड विद फाइन फॉर्म विद फुल प्रेम एंड प्रीति यू जस्ट नीड टू डू ऑल द टाइम यू जस्ट नीड टू डू दैट एंड दैट रसना दैट टंक एंड योर हार्ट एवरीथिंग यू जस्ट नीड टू मेक इट पैरल एवरीथिंग यू जस्ट नीड टू हारमोनाइज ऑल योर सेंस ऑर्गन्स एंड वॉट एवर देयर इज इन योर हार्ट एंड वॉट इज देयर इन योर टंग इट इज यू जस्ट नीड टू मेक इट पैरल एंड विद क्रम देर इज देर इज वन भक्ति ठाकुर इज गिविंग वन नाइस इंस्ट्रक्शन those who are sahajiyas it is uh, actually very strict rules so guru goswami pad actually is coming in the form of my gurudev and speaking to me that kram vidhi that with gradual promotion procedure ye sab to hai all this uh, actual guru gradual promotion procedure but nobody actually understanding this point try to follow, try to follow that not that you can jump and aisa nahi not like that Prabhupada always used to speak that we haven't uh, uh, climbed the tree. We haven't climbed the tree, and we are just going uh, in front of the bush. Prabhupada always used to speak this. We haven't climbed to the tree, and where you will get uh, the fruit from one bush? There is all foolish things. so here after this here they have written that you just need to stay in uh, braj maybe physically not possible mentally you just need to stay in braj just do her braj vas and just be raganuga under the guidance of braj vasi that prem preeti seva whatever you are just liking it just need to follow that always just need to stay in braj and just need to do raganuga bhajan and all the time do smaran kirtan and for all the time what you have don't waste that that is the actual vital vital advice uh, from me to you and that is the actual thing conclusion of all the shastra that all the time whatever time you have you are just uh, getting it uh, in this hari bhajan otherwise everything will be getting destroyed hey rup goswami pad when you will just be merciful on me and you will be just uh, giving vas in vrindavan you giving stay in vrindavan like narottam das thakur has told in his kirtan is already told by narottam das thakur har up ko swai you just do kipa dine braje vasa braje vasa ragasti ka tumi tavo padanugo hoyto dasher asha aap raga rupa aap aap you actually no braje vasi you are braje vasi and you are giving raga atmi ka bhakti and you just give me that and what the wish is my you just fulfill my desire when i will fulfill my desire well uh, by your mercy i will uh, be doing uh, raganuga bhajan so this is the kirtan this all this bhakti mein thakur writing both the writings then after shila prabhupad bhakti san saraswati thakur write on one bhashya has written one bhashya that what he has written it, it it looks like it is just a two line but so in depth uh, discussion which are is there in that so these uh, all these things if you have getting uh, the actual uh, gurudev you are just listening it from 
with full submission you are hearing hari katha and with serving mood with serving temperament you are hearing then everything is hidden in that it is not at all opened but it everything written there in hidden form just by writing nothing will happen maybe gurudev i have already will speak what gurudev is speaking i have already heard nothing will happen why because you after hearing from gurudev there are some rules and regulation you just need to get uh, 100% sharnagati is there or not onto lotus feet of guru varg and uh, you have that prema and preeti for gurudev lotus feet or not so i have already told that shrinivas tar has told up till that point when you don't have nishtha onto the lotus feet of gurudev nothing will happen so that's why prabhupad has uh, written in just two lines and in a very hidden and secret form he has uh, told us the secret things all us means that by the lotus mouth of gurudev when you are just hearing that if you no have some no submission no seva mood is there then what shravan you are doing that your shravan is uh, incomplete then definitely kirtan will not be possible so what the prabhupad actually speaking very uh, in depth which are that prabhupad speaking that krishna naam roop gun leela all actually actually they are only by that sadguru who is already there established in that bhav who is that in is that in that condition just by hearing from his lotus mouth we will get so much uh, transcendental anand just by his mouth that kirtan is just uh, going to overflow that anandamay rasmay uh, kirtan gurudev will just be giving us so much rasa that transcendental rasa then after just taking that rasa from our tongue that katha kirtan automatically will go on that actually bhakti no thakur has already written this point no you are not actually understanding this point bhakti no thakur already written this point bhakti bala tirth was always used to uh, uh, sing this glorification in the parikrama that you actually just giving me the this prem ras and i am just drinking that prem ras and i am just to make me mad in prema and uh, definitely you are actually hearing the glorification of this naam uh, by your own and i should uh, be just taking leela ras everything and continuous rasa should go from my mouth whatever i have heard if i am just taking more then there is some thaku the dakar is coming oh like that it's coming so if we haven't taken also and still all actually it is written that krishna naam gun leela and chatushtai that's why there is one guarantee given if from the gurudev that actual rupa guru we are just hearing from the lotus mouth of that hari katha definitely you will get that you just be tension free don't worry about that like mahaprabhu actually speaking mahaprabhu in varanasi actually speaking that prabodhan in front of prakashanand actually why you are doing nitya kirtan prakashanand was speaking you just uh, you are from my sons our sampraday sanyasi why you are not coming here to read vedant and you are from our own group you are from our own sampradayik sanyasi you are from our own sampraday so why you are not coming to hear vedant here why what is the reason you are doing all the time dancing and doing kirtan mahaprabhu actually speaking guru dev actually just giving me punishment actually you are foolish number 1 and you don't have any adhikar in vedant just by hearing vedant you do one thing he has given one mantra you just go on doing this mantra and uh, after that i have questioned gurudev that uh, i have given one question that what mantra you have given me what kind of mantra you have just given me is just given me mad he just made me mad this mahaprabhu actually speaking that i haven't heard it in my whole life what you have heard hari katha you have heard have you heard this no so it's already written in mahaprabhu speaking this point mahaprabhu himself is actually just speaking to gurudev this tatta 
वॉट महाप्रभु एक्चुअली विल टेल एक्चुअली जस्ट जस्ट बाय गिविंग अस इंस्ट्रक्शन महाप्रभु जस्ट डूइंग दिस महाप्रभु हैजेंट गुरुदेव हैजेंट टोल्ड महाप्रभु लाइक दिस इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट ब्रेक देयर फॉल्स ही गो ऑल दोज वेदांति इन ऑर्डर टू ब्रेक दैट दैट्स वाई महाप्रभु टोल्ड इट महाप्रभु इज नॉट इट इज जस्ट टू गिव अस द इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट्स इट वॉट एवर महाप्रभु इज गिविंग इज जस्ट फॉर अवर इंस्ट्रक्शन वॉट एवर महाप्रभु द महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग दैट आई एम फुलिश I don't have any adhikar in Vedanta, so that's why he has given giving punishment. And he don't don't have any adhikar in Vedanta. You just to give, give this mantra and just, just go on speaking this mantra. When I just become mad, and what mantra you have given me? I just become mad after just uh, uh, after speaking this mantra. I'm just becoming mad by just speaking this mantra. Then Guru Dev speaking that that is the actual prabhav of Krishna mantra. That is the actual magic of Krishna mantra. when you are just uh, who is actually doing the job of this naam sankirtan definitely that uh, bhav is just coming inside that so prabhupad actually just speaking this secret point in just two lines suni lai means it is, is given it guarantee definitely that if your condition you are not fulfilled and you are speaking that i have already heard from guru that nothing will happen it's not like that it's already written here guru mukhe sunile kirtan udaye kitti to hile krame smaranang pai pehli hum i have already told this kind of vyakhya that when you are doing kirtan automatically it is coming in our remembrance and without remembers how we can do kirtan it's not possible when kirtan is there that procedure is there automatically remembrance will come that remembrance will also become the ang of limb of bhakti kirtan smaran gradually kirtan smaran gradually they can proceed in their own way and after that what that chaturuchi that ruchi extreme rati has been just uh, produced inside his heart that he is just getting that uh, taste of that transcendental rasa and he is just uh, harmonizing his tongue and his uh, uh, heart and all the time he is doing uh, uh, kirtan of uh, gun kirtan of bhagwan all the time then having some if we are just taking shelter of some uh, special brajwasi which seva we are liking of that special brajwasi anyone if we are just taking their shelter of their bhava all the time that is the actual upadesh so nice actually upadesh parvapad giving so what is there i would don't have this time so up till this point i will be just taking rest and tasmad idam jagadavasi shamasya sarupam shapnavam astadishanam purudoksha duksha this shlok you see what is the in this whole material world in this actually from 10th canto of brahma ji is speaking in front of krishna when brahma ji is just praying to krishna in front of krishna, that a lot of uh, now i am just getting this uh, gyan that this uh, nikhil jagat is just like uh, a dream it is just temporary and just by avidya and uh, i am just got into a uh, gyan lupt bhumika and now i am just uh, taking your shelter o oh, prabhu and that sachidan swarup shri bhagwan i am just uh, getting away from you i am just getting away from your lotus feet and i just want to get on to lotus feet but uh, what actually it looks like a permanent thing it looks like a truth but it is not like that this maya vai jagat tasmad idam jagad masish masas swarupam वांछकल्पतुर्वशिक्य पासी पति पावन भव्यो नमो नमः